How's it going guys, welcome back to another video on the channel, it's your boy British Chap aka Dan uh, and we're back with WandaVision Season 1 Episode 5 now guys, the last episode was so freaking good it's not even funny like I was losing hope after the first three episodes but episode 4 was absolutely insane if you haven't seen that guys I'll leave the link somewhere up here for you to go watch it first it was absolutely mental definitely worth watching before this one so much freaking happened guys we learned so much about what's going on uh, in this weird little world that we've got uh, all this makeshift reality that's that, that's that's formed around Wanda but yeah guys really quickly before we get into the video can be smash like button and subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week also like I mentioned every single time guys don't forget to follow my Instagram British Chat with 2Ps the link is in the description below I just did that the other way around usually I do it the other way like I said go check out the last reaction you haven't seen I left the link somewhere back there. <laughs> but as ever, guys, for everyone that's only interested in a quick summary, I'm going to do a quick one now. But as ever, if anyone that's only interested in the actual reaction, I left a timestamp at the start, or I'll leave it somewhere around here. Somewhere down the bottom, somewhere along the start. Uh, and you can click ahead and go watch that uh, if you're not interested in my little summary. But for everyone that is interested, I'm going to do a quick one now. The last reaction was the most eventful of them yet. It was absolutely insane. Uh, what we basically found out, or what is being theorized now, especially by me, is that Wanda has created this world around herself. Uh, probably due to some sort of PTSD or some sort of mental thing that happened post Infinity War, post Endgame, sorry, because she fought in Endgame, and it is after Endgame, what we're seeing right now, it's three weeks after Endgame, when all of this starts really starting to happen. So, Wanda's obviously in this weird sort of reality now, which I think she's formed for herself, uh, anything that comes in, uh, gets shape-shifted in a way to fit her reality, anything that goes out has amnesia, or there's just an amnesia bubble surrounding this place. Now, the thing I like most about Last Reaction is I had sort of followed two time streams, like you had the first time stream, uh, which was the, the what we were focusing on this time, like we had the full screen, it was, it was proper reality, etc, uh, and it was right it before all the WandaVision thing happened. Now, you sort of see people come back from the blip and then it sort of shows the events leading up to finding this weird bubble place. And that includes explaining some of the things that did happen in the other sort of time stream we'd focused on in the first few episodes. Now, what I'm trying to say is that we, we do see a drone fly in and we, if you remember correctly, we see that in colour in Wanda's world later on. So it explains things like that. It also explained the radio transmission, explained why people go in there and then come out, for example. Uh, it explained all sorts of guys, all the weird little glitches that we were having in the first few episodes, it explained them. Uh, the only thing that it doesn't explain is why this is a weird TV show setting and why it's boosting in time. Like, why is it sort of going from 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s? Why is it boosting in time? Like, what is that whole scenario? Why is it a TV series, etc.? Uh, and all I could think of is it's just Wanda's way of dealing with things. And she's formed this reality and it's just chance that it's a TV show. Now, like I said, my bet is that Wanda is doing this based on the fact that she's lost everything. She lost uh, her brother in, in Age of Ultron. She lost Vision in Infinity War. She's just lost everything. She's now, well, she's going to experience the, uh, the trauma of that. If you remember in Endgame or after Infinity War. She was blipped away, so she wasn't here to experience that trauma afterwards. So her trauma is only starting after Endgame, after we've seen her, and we haven't seen her yet. That's what this is. This is after Endgame, which is what I think is really cool. I was trying to work out the timeline throughout the whole freaking thing. Uh, but finally, we, we've, we figured out this after Endgame, and it seems to me that she's going through a traumatic process. We do see that she has weird visuals and flashbacks to, for example, Vision without the stone and his dented in head. Uh, we see Flash, or she remembers her brother, etc. And every time something like that happens, she just rewinds or reshapes her reality or throws people out. Uh, like we saw, you see that really intense scene where she like grabbed that person with her powers and flung them out of the um, arena. Now, the only other thing that I'm a bit confused about is the fact that it's mon it's censored. Sorry, it's censored in a way so that like what people can see on the outside on the broadcast TV show that they've managed to pick up, they're only picking up the stuff that Wanda wants them to pick up. They're not picking up any of the like rewinding or the glitching or the, you know what I'm trying to say? It's like, I think it picked up the color plane, but it doesn't pick up like, for example, when she threw that girl out, it looked aggressive, it looked violent, it looked scary. It didn't show that. Now, I think the only other thing I want to talk about before this reaction being is I've sort of, in a way, just summarized the last episode. Uh, is just discuss in general what I think this means if Wanda is to be stripped from this reality. Now, Wanda's just had twins with Vision, who is actually dead. So she's had twins with the love of her life. She's now got two beautiful babies, right? If someone's going to go in there and try and tell her that's not real or strip that from her, how is she going to react? And I can't help but feel that this could be the start of something very, very bad. Uh, and if Wanda is portrayed as the villain in this series, I wouldn't be surprised based on the way they're sort of setting up the show already. There's not really much else I can speak about or speculate on, so I'm going to stop talking now. It's been quite a while, uh, so without further ado, let's get straight into the reaction. 
Okay, so we're back to this weird reality, but the screen's full. So we're no longer in this weird, so things are slowly beginning to like, become realistic for Wanda. That's sick. Have a dance, darling. It's almost like we're on a date. You see, this reality is still functioning. But it's no longer the weird sort of cut frame, etc. Oh, course not. No, also, wouldn't they grow up quickly? If, if reality is going super fast, wouldn't they grow up quickly and then this wouldn't so, even be a process they'd have to worry about? Or maybe we just need some help. Oh. Hiya, kid. Oh. And now she's back. Agnes, I was just this mm. But I want to know, face. where's oh, she from? Oh, That's what I want to know. Oh, Where in reality is she from? Uh, be careful of their belly buttons and remember to support their head. And when was the last time you washed your hands? Actually, you know what? You would just maybe we better not. Do you want me to take that again? I'm sorry? You want me to hold the babies. Should we just take it from the top? You see what I mean? The acting. <laughs> yeah, see? Don't be silly. Vision, let's... Let's let Agnes give it a try. But she knows. She know. Oh my God. So are they <laughs> acting to keep her happy? Is that what this is? <laughs> I'm so confused. What was that about? What was what? What was what? That that with Agnes just now. That's the thing. I don't think Vision. Part of me feels like he's another AI. He doesn't know. She said the way she looked at you. It's not Agnes's fault that she has an unusually high libido. Oh no. Did you really not see what I saw? Oh. Don't see what I mean? I'm just looking for your dog. Oh, figure. but what? Vision. Huh? So that's the weird thing. I need to pause I'm it. Twins. What kind of babysitter do you think I am? This is why this show is confusing me so much because I said this in a few reactions back. I remember saying like. You can tell that Wanda knows that things aren't right. And when things aren't right, she like jolts them back into place. And everyone else there, except Vision, I remember saying specifically, except Vision, seems like they're acting. I can't tell with Vision. I said I can't tell with Vision whether that's legit or not. But that's the thing. He's acting like this reality is starting to act out, but he's not the one controlling it. Now, if he is legitimate, how is he... Like, I remember saying last reaction, like they're AI, like it's an AI. How could he be alive? How could that... How can he not be fake in her mind? But he's acting out separately from her wand, so it, it can't be her mind. Do you know what I'm trying to say? It feels like he can't be in her mind. I honestly... Then where are the twins? Mommy? Daddy? They've grown up, see? How does Vision not know that that's random? You know what I'm trying to say? If he is an AI, and if he is starting to notice weird things. But you can tell he's confused. That's the difference. Everyone else in this reality isn't confused by it, except the vision. Pain. And then... Wanda's voice in my head. Rest. There's the amnesia. She can't remember anything. There was this feeling keeping me down. This... Hopeless feeling. Like drowning. It was grief. Yeah, Wanda's grief. That's what I'm trying to say. Like PTSD, like she's grieving, she's mourning. Mighty glad to have you back, Captain. How you feeling? Like myself. Well, thank heavens for that. Imagine she goes and watch those tapes and goes, what the There's frick? A briefing in 10. Pants are encouraged. We're going to need to take these again. There's something wrong with the machine. Those are blank. Like I said. Well, what about our labs? I need another blood draw. <laughs> oh, shoot. We're done here. All of her samples are like... She does that. Coming back... See you at the briefing. Empty. What the heck? Morning. And earliest yeah. tracking had her using her powers against the Avengers. Is oh, that for goodness right sakes. Right before she earned their trust and became one herself. So th there's obviously Wanda's people against Wanda. Germany. Wow. Just wow. Still, after everything she's Thanks, done... Jimmy. Okay guys, I knew that like Wanda may at some point be cast as like a villain in this scenario being as what is going on. But I didn't expect it like that. Like, oh my god, th this specific people, they're like determined to cast her as a villain. That's crazy. Like, they're bringing up stuff from the past. They're just disregarding all the things she did for the Avengers. I wonder if this is literally the series. I wonder if there is no villain. I wonder if it, well, I wonder if it's literally just them getting Wanda out of this. That would be crazy. Like, I'm here sitting here thinking there's got to be some sort of big villain or something like in Loki, but... Nah, this is like, 
legitimate. Like, there's no villain, I don't think. Well, yet, at least. It's just Wanda. It's just a matter of how we're going to get out of there and how we're not going to traumatize her further. Think about it, guys. Like I said before, if we strip her family from her, how's she going to react? That's the thing, guys. They also said that they have intel from the guy that went in there with the bee suit, which part of me thinks that he, unless he's come back, I don't think he did, he's now in that world and he can, like, focus in that world without the amnesia. Maybe it's set up so that Wanda has to, I don't know, maybe she's not aware of it so she can't f change it? <sighs> The show is so confusing. I think I'm just going to have to keep watching because I'm now at that point where, like, there's nothing else to speculate on. We just need to, like, figure out what's going on. It was the top secret location of the Vision's corpse. Oh, shoot! Wanda went and stole his corpse? Wait, were they trying to, like, experiment on him? Oh, my God. Maximoff stormed our facility, stole the Vision's body, and Holy resurrected him. But so, that's in direct violation wait, of Section 36. He has been resurrected? Accords. And the Vision's own living will. He didn't want to be anybody's weapon. Oh, Maximoff shoot! Disregarded his wishes. Oh my god, right, she's using him. Now. Let's work the problem, people. Okay, guys, I know I just paused it, but I didn't expect it to be a revelation that bloody quickly. So Wanda went and stole Vision's body and resurrected him. So that's why. I was sitting there thinking, how the hell is he alive? But that's why she saw him with, like, the dented head. But is he the same, though? And can he function outside of this reality? That's the other thing. Can he function outside of this bubble? Or does this bubble have to be present for this to happen? Because if they've resurrected him, that's sick, boy, because... I would love to see Vision back in future uh, movies and series, etc. How are we going to resolve this? I've also got a feeling that although she's resurrected Vision, I don't think it's that simple. Part of me feels like he's not going to make it out of this. Is that just me? I don't know. I remember someone talking about, like, Grey Vision, like, in, in the comics or something. Like, imagine they've managed to successfully do that and he will be in future MCU films. That would be so good. But that wouldn't explain why she's had to create this reality. If she, she would only have to create this reality if she couldn't have what's going on inside this fake thing. She would only create it if she couldn't have what's going on in here, outside of here. Like, if she could have Vision back just in a normal way, etc., she wouldn't need to build this reality. I think maybe unless she's done it to protect them because people would come after his body or, or something. I don't know. Also, I'm just curious, what was S.W.O.R.D. doing with his body? Like, yeah, they had him hooked up to all sorts of things. Like, what were they doing with him? What happens when he learns the truth? That's what I thought! Guys, that's what I thought about Vision, like... Wait, what if he goes evil? No, but anyway, like, he started learning the truth, like, he started snapping into reality. Can we keep him, Mommy? Well, I'm sure he's Oh, look at him. Nice. So cute. Well, should we make it official? I wonder. You made no effort to conceal your abilities. Oh. Well, I'm tired of hiding those. That's the thing, is he starting... What are you telling me? You see? Oh my god, what's he get what's gonna happen when Vision finds out this is all fake? Don't think you're ready to properly care for an animal until you are at least ten, <coughs> ten years. You watch them grow to ten like that. Yep, there you go. What I need is a 10,000 pound fallout shelter comprised of lead for photons, cadmium for neutrons, tantalum for seismic blasts. No idea what that stuff is. <laughs> and then I would be able to safely re-enter Westview, right? Oh! Yes, theoretically. So they're trying to theorize how to get back in safely without forgetting, etc. Da, 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 da. The twins aged up to 10. Oh, so she's going to... At this rate, they'll be empty nesters by oh, dinner time. So she's going to go in. I know an aerospace engineer who'd be up for this challenge. Have we identified these miners yet, or the newborns? Oh, Wanda's twins are hers. Everything in there is real. But Wanda manipulates people's perceptions. But does she... Hallucinate. Yeah, that's her whole bag. If I don't think they're the real. And props and wardrobe don't think the kids her, are real. That would mean she's wielding an insane amount of power. Far exceeding anything she's displayed in the past. Uh, she could have yep. taken out Thanos on her own if he hadn't initiated a blitz. <laughs> Wait, what just happened? Whoa! Those pants are 87% Kevlar. I'm so confused. It's not an illusion. Wanda is rewriting reality. Permanently? If Rewriting she can reality. Change things as they go into the hex. That, you called it the hex. Oh, that's what we saw before. Changing things what as they go in. If we send something in that requires no change, 
Yeah, exactly. Send something in that's already realistic to them. But what though? Top secret communicate. Finding authenticate. Darcy Lewis. The Darcy Lewis findings regarding Maximus. High levels of radiation. What the frick? Effect on Westview residents unknown. Oh my god. <laughs> and what's Vision gonna start? Like, what's he gonna do? Like, what how's he gonna? What are we gonna write back? You're the office. Is he guy. real? Oh my god, I want to know so badly if he can exist outside. You see, none of it's real. It's a just. <laughs> Please help me. Oh, Please. shoot. How long has it been? Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Call yourself Norm. I can't understand what you're trying to tell me. Holy shoot. She's in Stop my head. Wanda. See, Wanda's manipulating home. everyone. Make her stop. And he's back to normal. Tell me this. If I send an email. Oh, my God. Down. I didn't think it was that in depth. So she's manipulating every single person oh. there. So Wanda guys is manipulating every person and they're messing with their minds to believe certain things are real, certain things are not, etc. Uh, you know how it goes. That's what she's doing to them guys. I'm trying to like comprehend how much of it is real and how much of it isn't because her kids, like how did she have kids? How did she have twins in there? It doesn't make any sense. So part of me feels like the things that are moving at weird ways in time, for example, like the kids growing up at weird ages, etc., they're not real. They're fake. They're like a projection. Part of me feels like that's the case. I I don't know, because they haven't been abducted. The other thing is, guys, is like, how long is it going to take for Vision to, like, start to, like, kick out of this and then try and figure out a way out of it? And also, I don't know whether he can leave this place, because if it is a reality, how could she resurrect him? How could she resurrect him without the sun? Which part of me believes that maybe he needs, unless he, she can use her powers to keep him alive, but what if he needs this reality to to exist and then that's why she's doing it but she can't manipulate his mind because he doesn't have like the mind right do you know what i'm trying to say but yeah guys i've said this multiple times my biggest worry is what one is going to do after this is like ended what's she going to do when she realizes that everything's been taken away from her and her reality is no longer going to exist like how is she going to react is she going to burst out is she going to be violent like she was last time Sparky! <laughs> or a drone's gotten in How's it in? I know this is tech from the 80s, but can we sharpen the visuals? Oh! Something from the 80s that makes sense! I just want to talk. That's it. No and here... Boy. Yeah! Uh, wait, here come the... the aren't working. Here come the eyes. Exactly. What? So every little... No, the drone isn't take on. your shot! Take the shot! What the frick? Why? What did you do? There's a breach, sir. Oh my god. You just threatened her family. For goodness sakes. Who's coming through? What's coming through? Is it Wanda or... Oh. She's come through. You and well, she's more powerful than yours? anything you've got there. The missile was just a precaution. To shot? No, it was Hardly not, you idiot. Water. I think I can. This will be your only warning. Stay out of my home. Yeah. Don't bother me. I won't bother you. I That's the thing. That simple. She's not actually. Oh, is she hurting people? Town hostage. You're still here, Wanda. Oh I didn't shoot! Know the were armed. I have what I want. She wants. She has vision. She wants and to be no left one alone. Will ever take it from me. The thing is, is, again, I want her to be left alone as well. But if she's got hostages. Oh. oh my god. Holy shoe toy. That's pretty much her saying, leave me alone. Oh my god. Wait, she's changed the force field. Has she strengthened it? Is that what that is? The thing that gets me, guys, is you can't bargain with her because... 
what she wants is she wants to be happy, right? She's got the thing that she's always wanted. She's wanted a family. She's wanted kids. She's wanted vision back since Infinity War, right? She's, well, obviously, she wasn't there between Infinity War and Endgame. But you know what I'm trying to say? She wants him back. And now that she's got that, and someone's trying to take that from her, like, you know how much of a threat that is? And she's not trying to hurt people. As much as, yes, people are hostage in her town that she's taken. She's not trying to hurt anyone. She's just trying to form this reality to live her life happily with vision, with her family, with her kids. She just wants to be happy. The weirdest thing is, it's like they're trying to frame her as a villain, and I can totally see how they're doing that. And I, I agree that what she like in the, in the sense of holding people hostage and threatening people like that—that's scary and that is villainous. But like the motive behind it is nothing but innocent. Nothing but innocent. That's what's getting me. Is that as much as they're framing her as the villain, I see her no more than just wander. You want to piss someone off and take something from them? That's the way to do it. And now what? The whole thing's been changed. The force field's been re. I assumed, like, re-sort of strengthened, uh, and no one's going to get in or out now. Like, what the heck, though? Like, seriously? Like, how are they going to resolve this series? Like, Wanda, surely she's going to snap into, like, reality and realise this isn't right, etc. But, once again, I can't help but feel the only reason she's doing this is because she knows she can't have it without the fake thing. So she needs that reality and that projection. Ah, uh, this is so complicated, and the characters are complicated, and it's not black and white. It's not simply she's evil. It's not simply she's being doing something wrong. It's literally so complex, and there's so many moving factors. It's just a matter of helping all parties now. Well, it's not often you get a dog and bury it in the same day. Well, life moves pretty fast out in the suburbs. Yeah, this is it, guys. This is, when he, with Norm. this is when he brings it up. I unearthed the man's suppressed personality and I spoke to him free of your oversight. Oh. Listen, can we just... What? Watch TV? Mm. There will be a reason, though, that she's doing it. TV, you can because he can't be out of this. You watch it. Again, not It'll be day. sad. You watch. Norm has a family! One day he has a family and he can't reach them oh. because you won't let Here we go. I don't know what you're talking about. It just Stop glitched out. To me. Oh. All of this is for us. Holy so let me shoot. It. What is outside of Westview? You don't want to know, I promise you. Oh you my god. That choice for me, Wonder. Surely he's going to snap. never talked to me like this before. What? Before what? I can't remember my life before Westview. I don't know. Oh my god, he doesn't even remember Infinity War. Imagine Vision becomes the villain. You are my husband. You're Tommy and Billy's father. Isn't that enough? Oh my god. I don't know how any of this started in the first place. Oh, she doesn't even know. I didn't do that. That'll be the girl. You don't believe me. That'll be the girl that showed up. To, but at this point, I'm ignoring statistics entirely. Who is it? Surely it was that girl. Oh, it's in your brother. Oh, what? From the X Men, what? They crossed it over. They crossed it over. Pietro. I did not e Holy shoot! It was a popsicle. Oh my god! That's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy, that's crazy. Okay, guys, that ends the reaction. I mean, like, holy shit. They crossed him over from X-Men? Wait, is that literally a direct crossover, or have they just gotten the same actor to do, like, both? You know what I'm trying to say? Because they had, like, ownership rights and issues i don't i'm not really too up to date with the like politics around marvel and uh, all the other sort of companies etc so i'm not completely sure but if they've crossed that over that's freaking insane and my other question is is he fake this show is confusing me and it's, it's going to be if, if it's all fake that's going to suck because i really want them all back I, I want Vision back, I want Wanda back, I, I'm Wanda I feel like is the only certain one who's real, like we've seen her leave the place. But now we've got Quicksilver, we've got Vision, this whole thing guys, what the heck is going on? What is going on? And why is he there? And at that exact moment as well, I thought it was going to be the girl when she was talking about, oh, if I like, put like the Kevlar blah 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 and go in, like, could I go, uh, I, I, I don't know, I thought she was going to be the one. What is going on? 
I, I, I really want to watch the next one, but I know I can't. I've already watched two today. Holy shoot. But yeah, guys, that's the end of the reaction. I'm so hyped right now. And I, I, I usually I'm hyped before, not after. <laughs> well, like I said, like the whole thing that's going on, oh, it's obvious, guys, now Wanda's created this reality around herself. She's semi-controlling everything, not everything. Vision can't be controlled. I don't know about Quicksilver and that whole scenario. It did sound a bit weird. Like it almost sounded like he was acting again as well. So I'm not sure about him, to be honest. I'm not sure about any of them. The only really major major thing I want to talk about other than that whole Quicksilver thing that we've already spoken about uh, is the fact that they're trying to portray Wanda as a villain and like you can see in her eyes she's traumatized and upset and and, and mourning. She's mourning. She's still in that emotional stage after Endgame. She's only, she's only been back for three weeks. Uh, and she's only just sort of been back since, what, Vision's death and since, since everything. A lot of the characters, they had the whole, like, what, five-year period or something between Infinity War and Endgame. She, it's been three weeks. Every sort of intention she's got right now is innocent. None of it is malicious. None of it's evil. It's all innocent intention. She's not trying to harm people. Uh, yes, there are people that are hostage. She's not trying to be villainous. That's the thing. She doesn't want to be a villain. If she wanted to be a villain, this wouldn't be Wanda Maximoff. Like, we've seen her before, and she came back from that side, you know? this That wouldn't be Wanda. She's shown mercy every single time that something threatens her sort of reality, and she just sort of banishes them. She doesn't kill them, she shows mercy. The main thing that scares me is both Wanda and Vision, just in generally, like, them both starting to realise this reality, they're building up, and then... What's that going to mean? What's going to happen now? It would be kind of weird if they established a villain this late in the series. Like, we're up to episode 6 now, 6, 7, 8, 9, 4 episodes left. Uh, so it doesn't, it wouldn't really make any sense to me. So yeah, it looks pretty set that that is the main sort of situation. It's just a big mystery, really. It's a big mystery that's confusing the heck out of me, but I'm freaking enjoying it, guys. That episode was absolutely mental. Both the last two episodes have been uh, insane. I, I wonder what, I wonder what the ratings are like of the show. It must be fantastic. Like, bloody hell, it's been good. But yeah, guys, I'm definitely going to have to look into the whole, like, Quicksilver return sort of thing and figure out what that means and whether it is sort of a crossover, whether they have successfully done that or whether, like, because how he couldn't really be alive, so this surely is just a figure of imagination. Like, we saw him die. Well, not that actor one, but you know what I mean? We saw his version die in Age of Ultron. So how would they explain that? But then again, how would they explain Vision dying? If she can bring things back to life, and if she's doing that successfully... You never freaking know, guys. You never freaking know. Anything can happen with Marvel. We've seen time travel, for goodness sake. Uh, nothing is impossible. But yeah. I think that's all I have to say, guys. This reaction has been absolutely insane. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe to the channel for new content coming every single week. Also, like I mentioned every video, guys, don't forget to follow my Instagram, British Shepard 2 ps the link is in the description below. So yeah, let me know in the comments what you thought of this reaction. Like I said last reaction, I'm so hyped to get some discussion going. This episode has been absolutely insane. What did you think of it, guys? What, did, what were your sort of thoughts on Quicksilver's return and sort of crossover from X-Men, etc.? Were you as scared about the whole Vision and Wanda situation that's going on and how they're sort of raising to be this... Uh, weird sort of confrontational thing and was that was that scaring you uh, what did you think about them trying to villainize Wanda I'm really curious about your opinions on that because mine are quite like she's not a villain as much as you can villainize her her intentions are completely innocent etc uh, so yeah guys just let me know down below your thoughts and opinions on the reaction and I'll get to them as soon as possible but yeah what a reaction guys has been absolutely insane as ever this has been your boy British chat thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one